Island Fire Rescue recently released their 2023 annual report, breaking down what kinds of calls they responded to last year. I talked with their chief today about what trends they're seeing in the data and what the department wants their community to take from this report. Through trainings like Tuesdays and responses like the one to this mobile home fire last November, Hilton Head Fire Rescue's work is tracked year round and compiled into an annual report. Chief Chris Blankenship says one of their focuses for last year was starting their community outreach program that they're continuing to boost now. That is our big drive this year. We're trying to get out in the community more, do more community events, let our community know who we are and what we do. On the more dangerous side of being out in the community, the report runs through all kinds of response data. Our structure fires stay pretty consistent year over year. We run about 25 um, true structure fires a year. Um, what we're seeing uh, a trend is every year our, our EMS call volume is rising. Chief Blankenship says those are the general year over year trends. In 2023, though, fires within a structure actually went down to 39 from 46 in 2022. He also has an idea as to why EMS volume rises. Our population is aging. Um, if you actually look in the annual report, you'll see that um, the majority of our EMS calls are 65 years and older. You can see the numbers. Total emergency calls from those under 65 add up to 2,206, less than the total for just the 65 to 84 age group. Using last year's data to look forward, the chief says his department is about to move into its busiest season. We're going to start to see a pickup. Um, Heritage is going to be busy um, as it is every year. We actually saw spring break this year. Um, we saw higher call volume, a lot of people on the island. 